The art of receiving. Don't force the universe. Only ask what you want. Written by Kelvin W. Nathan. Published by Audio Books Office. Introduction. Looking into the art of receiving a heartwarming guide that unfolds the secret to attracting life's riches with grace and ease. This book is a gentle invitation to discover a more harmonious way of achieving your desires, one where the universe becomes your ally, guiding and gifting you with the abundance you seek. With a friendly and encouraging voice, the author walks you through the transformative process of tuning into the art of receiving, making the journey not just enlightening, but enjoyable. At its core, the art of receiving champions the power of openness, gratitude, and alignment. It debunks the myth that hard work and relentless effort are the sole paths to success, offering instead a refreshing perspective on how a state of receptivity can draw your deepest desires into your life. The book is beautifully structured, with each chapter dedicated to unveiling a key aspect of the receiving process from setting clear intentions and cultivating a mindset of abundance to overcoming internal blocks and tuning into the universe's subtle signs. Through engaging stories, practical tips, and heartfelt advice, you'll learn how to navigate the space between asking and receiving. The author emphasizes the significance of trust and letting go, demonstrating how to relinquish control and allow the world to provide in its own ideal time and manner. You'll discover how to celebrate anticipation, foster positive expectations, and, most importantly, recognize and welcome the gifts that come your way. The Art of Receiving is more than a book, it's a journey of self-discovery and transformation. It's perfect for anyone who's ever felt like they're pushing too hard without seeing the results they crave. Whether you're longing for love, prosperity, health, or happiness, this guide offers a blueprint for aligning yourself with the energies of abundance and fulfillment. Proceed on this journey with an open heart and mind, and let the art of receiving show you how to embrace the gifts of the universe with gratitude and joy. Transform the way you think about achieving your desires and open up to a world where everything you want flows to you effortlessly. Imagine you're a radio constantly transmitting and receiving signals. Instead of music or news, you're sending and receiving life experiences. Now, what if I told you that there's a method to fine-tune this radio a way to receive only what you truly desire from the universe. This book, The Art of Receiving, provides a guide on how to do just that. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Stay tuned for a transformative discussion on mastering the art of receiving. Chapter 1 Mastering the Art of Receiving Starting on the path to master the art of receiving, you'll discover a powerful tool for personal growth and life transformation. It's not merely about getting what you want, it's about opening your mind and heart to accept the abundance that's already there for you. This is more than a conceptual understanding, it's a practical, life-changing skill that you can, and should, cultivate. Imagine your life as a vessel. How can you receive more if you're already full? You'll need to first create space for new blessings to flow in. Letting go of what no longer serves you is the first step. Whether it's old beliefs, fears, or material possessions, it's time to clear out and make room for the new. Next, you need to tune into your feelings. How do you feel about receiving? If you're uncomfortable, it's time to address that. It's okay to receive. You deserve good things, and accepting them allows you to have the energy to give back. You also need to trust. Trust the universe, trust the process, and most importantly, trust yourself. Remember, the universe is abundant and wants to give to you. When you let go of control and trust in the natural flow of life, you open yourself to receive in ways you never thought possible. Mastering the art of receiving is a journey, not a destination. It's a constant practice that you'll refine over time. 
But as you progress, you'll find that the more you open yourself to receive, the more abundance will flow into your life. Chapter 2. Making Your Goals Plain As you explore within yourself and learn to trust the universe, it's equally important to define clearly what you want to receive. Making your goals plain is pivotal in this transformative journey. You're not just a passive participant in life, you're an active creator. It's your responsibility to take the reins and guide your life in the direction you desire. But how do you make your goals plain? Start by taking a thorough exploration into your truest desires. Don't let anyone else's expectations or societal norms cloud your judgment. This is your life and your journey. Write down your dreams, ambitions, and desires. Be specific. Want to travel to Italy? Don't just write travel more. Specify explore the vineyards of Tuscany. Next, visualize your goals. Picture yourself living them. Feel the joy, the excitement, the satisfaction. This isn't just daydreaming, it's creating a blueprint for the universe to follow. The clearer your image, the easier it's for the universe to deliver. Chapter 3. Building an Open Mindset In this journey towards manifesting your dreams, cultivating an open mindset isn't just beneficial, it's essential. An open mindset isn't about being naive or gullible. It's about being receptive and flexible to new experiences, ideas, and opportunities. You see, the universe is a vast, dynamic entity, constantly shifting and evolving. To tap into its abundance, you need to be equally adaptable and fluid. Start by challenging your preconceived notions. It's easy to hold on to beliefs that have been ingrained in us since childhood. But remember, you're not bound by those constraints. You're free to question explore, and form your own beliefs. Do not be frightened to leave your comfort zone. That is where the magic occurs. Next, cultivate a spirit of curiosity. Ask questions. Seek to understand. Embrace the unknown. When you open yourself up to the universe's mysteries, you will notice that it reacts in like, offering you with opportunities and experiences that match your deepest wishes and goals. Chapter 4 a daily practice of gratitude. Cultivating a daily practice of gratitude can transform your perspective, inviting a sense of fulfillment and happiness into your life. It's not about pretending everything is perfect, but acknowledging the good, no matter how small. This shift in focus from what's lacking to what's abundant creates a powerful vibrational alignment with the universe, making it easier to receive what you desire. Start by setting aside a few minutes each morning to express gratitude. It could be for something as simple as the sunshine streaming through your window or a kind word from a friend. You'll be surprised how this simple act can shift your mood and set the tone for the day. Incorporate gratitude into your daily routines. As you brush your teeth, cook your meals, or commute to work, think of something you're grateful for. Over time, you'll find yourself naturally looking for things to appreciate. Keeping a gratitude journal can also be beneficial. Each night, jot down three things you're grateful for. This not only helps you reflect on the positive aspects of your day, but also reinforces the habit of seeking the good in every situation. Chapter 5 Getting Past Obstacles and Resistance Despite the challenges you might face, Pushing past obstacles and resistance is an essential part of mastering the art of receiving. It's not a cakewalk, but it's definitely vital. The key is to persist, stay resilient, and trust in the process. Remember, the universe is always on your side, even when it doesn't seem like it. Obstacles and resistance can often be internal, stemming from your own fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs. You might feel like you're not deserving or capable of receiving what you desire. You might question the possibility of your dreams coming true. But here's the truth, you're more powerful than you think. Don't let self-doubt stand in your way. Push past it. Start by acknowledging these internal obstacles. Recognize them for what they are, just thoughts, not facts. Challenge them. Replace your negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Believe in your ability to receive. External obstacles can be tricky too. 
They may come in the form of societal norms, expectations from others, or unforeseen circumstances. Don't be disheartened. Instead, see these as opportunities to grow and evolve. Develop a problem-solving mindset. Look for alternatives, find solutions, and keep moving forward. Resistance is just as vital to address. It's often a sign that you're stepping outside your comfort zone, which is where true growth happens. Embrace it. It means you're on the right track. Chapter 6 Living by the Principle of Attraction Embracing the principle of attraction can transform your life, as it's all about aligning your thoughts and actions to what you truly desire and believe you deserve. This isn't about wishful thinking, but about cultivating a mindset that attracts positivity, abundance, and fulfillment. You're not merely a passive participant in life, you have the power to shape your reality. Understand that the universe responds to energy, not words. It's not enough to simply say what you want, you need to feel it, live it, and believe in it. This might seem challenging at first, but you'll soon realize its power. Every thought, every emotion, sends out a unique vibration, attracting similar energies. So, if you're focused on scarcity, you're likely to attract more of it. But if you focus on abundance and gratitude, you'll see more of that in return. Living by the law of attraction entails becoming a magnet for experiences, people, and opportunities that are consistent with your innermost goals and highest good. It's about releasing resistance and allowing the universe to guide you toward your destiny. This requires trust, patience, and a willingness to let go of control. Chapter 7 Using Visualization to Its Full Potential Using the power of visualization, you may build an unambiguous mental picture of your desired outcomes, allowing your aspirations to become reality. It's crucial to understand that this isn't a mere daydreaming or wishful thinking. It's a powerful tool that can be used consciously to shape your future and manifest what you want. Imagine what it would feel like to receive what you desire. Visualize every detail, the colors, the textures, the smells, and the feelings associated with your goal. You're not just creating a mental picture, you're creating an entire experience. Now, don't just see it, feel it. Connect with the emotions that your desired outcome sparks. Feel the joy, the exhilaration, the peace, whatever emotions are tied to your goal. Emotion is the fuel that energizes your visualization, making it more potent and effective. It's also important to believe in the process. Don't question whether it will work. Just trust in the power of your mind and the universe. Your belief is the magic ingredient that brings your visualization to life. Remember, visualization isn't a one-time task. It's a practice that needs to be incorporated into your daily routine. Consistency is key. The more you practice, the more you'll condition your mind to believe in your vision, and the more likely you're to attract what you're visualizing. This journey of visualization may seem challenging initially, but don't get discouraged. You're building a mental muscle that will soon become second nature. Stay patient, stay focused, and most importantly, believe in your power to receive. Chapter 8 Maximizing Your Success with Affirmations Now, let's explore the core of affirmations a potent tool that can amplify your success and bring you closer to your goals. You see, affirmations are personal, positive statements that can help you overcome self-sabotaging negative thoughts. They're more than just feel-good quotes or motivational sayings. It's about making intentional, conscious choices that align you with the reality you want to create. You're probably wondering how to maximize your success with affirmations. It's quite simple, really. First, pinpoint what you truly desire. Start by identifying your goals or what you want to manifest in your life. Be clear, be specific. Next, create affirmations that resonate with these desires. Keep them positive, in the present tense, and make them personal. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I am successful. Now, repeat these affirmations daily. Consistency is key. You're essentially retraining your brain to believe these affirmations. And remember, 
It's not just about saying the words, it's about feeling and believing them. Visualize the reality you're affirming. Feel the emotions linked with it. Remember, the universe loves specificity. It responds to the energy and intention behind your affirmations. So don't just repeat words mindlessly. Pour your heart and soul into them. Believe in the power of your words and watch the universe respond in kind. Affirmations are a powerful ally in your journey of receiving. Use them wisely, believe in their power, and watch how they transform your life. Chapter 9 Establishing a Bond with Your Core Identity To truly thrive and manifest your desires, establishing a deep and meaningful bond with your core identity is essential. You need to know who you're at your core, and that's not just about your likes and dislikes, your dreams and fears. It's about the essence of who you are, the values you hold dear, the principles you live by. Think of yourself as an onion with many layers. You've got to peel back those layers to reach your core. It's not always easy. It takes courage and honesty, but it's worth the effort. When you know your core identity, you become empowered, authentic, and grounded. You're not swayed by every wind of change or opinion. You stand firm in who you're and what you believe. Reflect on your life. Look at your defining moments. What were the experiences that shaped you? What are the values that guided your decisions? These insights will help you understand your core identity. Try to connect with your core identity every day. Make it part of your daily rituals. Meditate on your values. Reflect on your decisions. Listen to your inner voice. Your core identity is your compass in life. It guides you towards your true north. It helps you make decisions that align with who you are, not what others expect of you. Establishing a bond with your core identity isn't a one-time event. It's a journey, a lifelong process of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-love. But it's a journey worth taking, because when you're true to your core identity, you can receive what you truly desire from the universe. Chapter 10 Improving Your Gut Feelings In the journey of self-discovery, Improving your gut feelings is a powerful step you can take to enhance your ability to receive and respond to the universe's signals. This innate sense, often referred to as your intuition, can be a guiding light, leading you towards what you truly desire. First, you've got to believe in your intuition. It's an integral part of you, not some whimsical notion. Your gut feelings are your subconscious mind speaking to you, and it's often wiser than your conscious mind. Trust it. When something feels right, it usually is. When something doesn't, there's often a good reason. Second, practice makes perfect. Begin by devoting attention to your gut feelings in little situations. Did you feel uneasy about a decision that turned out to be wrong? Did you feel a pull towards something that ended up being beneficial? Take note of these instances. They're proof of your intuition at work. Third, create a quiet space within yourself. Intuition thrives in calm, so make time for stillness. Meditate, breathe. Listen, your gut feelings will become clearer, louder, and more frequent. Lastly, don't let fear cloud your intuition. Fear can mimic intuition but lead you astray. Discern between the two. If you're unsure, ask yourself, is this feeling based on past disappointments or future anxieties? If it is, it's likely fear. True intuition is calm and unattached. Chapter 11 Making a Board for Your Goals After harnessing your intuition, it's time to craft a vision board, a tangible representation of your goals and dreams. This creative process isn't just art, it's an empowering way to visualize the life you desire. You're not merely hoping for things to happen, you're actively drawing them into your life. Start by gathering materials that resonate with you. Maybe it's a cork board, a piece of poster board, or even a notebook. Don't limit yourself to traditional materials, it's your board, your rules. Next, find images, quotes, symbols, anything that embodies your dreams. They can be cut from magazines, printed from online, or hand-drawn. 
Let these elements inspire you, reminding you of your goals. Now arrange these pieces on your board. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You might group them by theme or scatter them across the board. Trust your instincts. When it feels right, secure them with glue, tape, or pins. Chapter 12 A Guide to Manifestation Through the Moon Cycles Harnessing the natural energy of the moon cycles can greatly amplify your manifesting power, leading you closer to your dreams. The moon's rhythmic dance through the cosmos is more than just a beautiful spectacle, it's a powerful tool for transformation and growth. Like the ebb and flow of the tides, your desires can come to fruition with the moon's guidance. Begin with the new moon, a time of beginnings, setting intentions, and planting seeds. This is the perfect time to clearly define what you want to manifest. Write it down, visualize it, feel it deeply within you. You're not just wishing you're aligning your energy with your desires and setting them in motion. As the moon grows into her first quarter, so does your intention. This is a time of action, of pushing past obstacles. Remember, it's not about forcing the universe, but aligning with it. You're working with natural forces, not against them. When the full moon arrives, it's time to manifest. The full moon is a time of culmination, realization, and abundance. It's when your intentions come to life. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Finally, as the moon wanes, it's time for reflection and release. Let go of what no longer serves you and make room for new beginnings. With patience and dedication, you'll see that the moon, in her quiet, powerful way, is a faithful guide in the art of receiving. You're not forcing the universe, you're dancing with it. Chapter 13 Harmonizing with Transformative Energy You're ready to tap into the transformative energy around you, aligning with its rhythm to welcome change and growth into your life. You're standing at the precipice of a new chapter, and it's an exhilarating place to be. This energy, this potential for transformation, is always present, but it's up to you to tune into it, to harmonize with it. Imagine this energy as a flowing river. You can't force the river to flow in a different direction, but you can learn to swim with the current. It's the same with transformative energy. You can't control it, but you can align with it, move with it, and use it to propel you forward. The key to harmonizing with transformative energy is to become aware of it to attune yourself to its ebb and flow. It's in the quiet moments of reflection, the pause between breaths, the stillness at dawn. It's in the roar of a crowd, the rush of a waterfall, the pulsating beat of your heart. Embrace this energy. Let it fill you, move you, transform you. Remember, it's not about forcing change, but inviting it, welcoming it. You're not a bystander in your life, but an active participant. Use this transformative energy to create the life you want to become the person you want to be. And as you align with this energy, remember to stay open, to stay receptive, because it's when you're open that you're able to receive all the universe has to offer. Chapter 14, Releasing Control. To truly align with the transformative energy around you and invite change, it's essential to let go of the reins and release control. This may sound counterintuitive, as you've been conditioned to believe that control is equivalent to power. But in the art of receiving, it's the opposite. Releasing control doesn't mean giving up. It entails believing in the process, surrendering to the flow, and letting the universe guide you. Imagine you're in a river. Instead of struggling against the current, you float, trusting the water to carry you where you need to go. That's the principle here. You're not abandoning your desires or goals, you're just letting go of the need to dictate every step of the journey. You're acknowledging that there's a greater energy at play, one that knows your path better than you do. There's freedom in this release. It's liberating to acknowledge that you don't need to have all the answers or make everything happen. It's empowering to trust in a force greater than yourself. You'll find that when you stop trying to control everything, you open up to opportunities and synchronicities you would have missed otherwise.
Releasing control is a practice. It requires patience and courage. But as you let go, little by little, you'll begin to experience the magic of receiving. You'll realize that the universe isn't against you, but for you. And in this space of trust and surrender, you'll be able to receive what you truly want. Chapter 15. Choosing to have faith and be patient. In the journey of receiving, having faith and practicing patience isn't just a choice. It's a powerful act of opening yourself up to the universe's timing. It's about trusting that what you desire is on its way, even if you can't see it yet. It's about understanding that the universe operates in its own rhythm and its timing may not always align with your expectations. Choosing to have faith is deciding to believe in the unseen. It's the conviction that your desires will manifest even without physical evidence. It's a leap of faith a brave act of surrendering control and trusting the process. It's a choice to live in anticipation, not anxiety. The faith you choose to have is the bridge between your dreams and their manifestation. Being patient, on the other hand, is an act of grace. It's allowing the universe to take its course without rushing or forcing outcomes. It's understanding that good things take time and that your desires are worth the wait. Patience is an act of self-love and self-respect, acknowledging that you deserve the best and are willing to wait for it. Choosing faith and patience doesn't mean passivity. It's an active process, a conscious decision you make each day. It's a commitment to keep believing and to keep waiting, no matter what. It's standing firm in your belief that the universe will provide and deliver what you desire, exactly when you're ready to receive it. It's not about forcing the universe to align with your timeline, but aligning yourself with the universe's timeline. Chapter 16. Seeing Messages from Universe While standing firm in your faith and patience, it's also important to keep your eyes and heart open to the signs and messages the universe might be sending your way. Remember, the universe communicates in whispers, not shouts. These messages often come subtly and unexpectedly. It's your responsibility to be receptive and to understand them. Start by cultivating a habit of mindfulness. Pay attention to your surroundings, the people you interact with, and the thoughts that cross your mind. These seemingly ordinary occurrences can carry extraordinary messages from the universe. Perhaps it's a recurring number, a song that keeps playing, or a chance meeting with an old friend. Don't dismiss these as mere coincidences. They're often the universe's way of guiding you. Also acknowledge your feelings and intuition. You know that gut feeling you get when something feels right or wrong. That's the universe nudging you in a certain direction. It's easy to second guess or rationalize these feelings away, but they're usually spot on. Trust yourself more. But above all, the key to seeing messages from the universe is patience. Don't rush or force things. If you're constantly anxious or impatient, you might miss these divine messages. Be still, be patient, and remember that everything unfolds in perfect timing. In essence, the art of receiving is also about the art of observing and listening to the universe. It's about cultivating a sense of wonder, openness, and trust. As you practice, you'll find that the universe is always communicating with you, guiding you towards the things you want to receive. Chapter 17 The Value of Caring For and Loving Oneself Learning to love and care for oneself is an important step toward mastering the art of receiving because it develops an inner climate suitable to accepting and nurturing the gifts that the universe has in store for us. It's empowering, transformative, and a confirmation of your worthiness. Remember, you're a universe within yourself deserving of the same love you're willing to give to others. Start by acknowledging your worth. You're not just a passive participant in life, but a powerful co-creator. The universe answers to the energy you emit, so if you value yourself, you will draw events that reflect that esteem. So take time to do things that make you feel good, value your efforts, and celebrate your accomplishments. Nurture your mind, body, and spirit. 
Feed your mind with empowering thoughts, your body with nourishing foods and activities, and your spirit with love, peace, and joy. This isn't just about indulging in self-care activities, it's about making a conscious decision to prioritize your well-being in all aspects. Chapter 18. Getting Rid of Mess in Your Space Once you've begun to nurture your inner universe, it's equally important to extend that same care and attention to your physical surroundings. Clutter and disarray in your environment can create a feeling of chaos and disorganization inside you. Your outer world often mirrors your inner world, so by clearing away the mess in your space, you're also clearing away the mess in your mind. Start by acknowledging the presence of clutter in your space. It's there, and it's okay. You don't need to feel overwhelmed. You're capable and you can tackle this. Start small if you need to, focusing on one area at a time and gradually expanding your efforts. Organize clean declutter. Let go of what no longer serves you. That shirt you haven't worn in a year? Donate it. Those old magazines collecting dust? Recycle them. This isn't just about tidying up, it's about releasing the old to make room for the new. Think of it as a form of therapy. As you physically move and remove items, you're also mentally moving and removing thoughts, beliefs, and patterns that no longer serve your highest good. You're creating space for fresh energy and new opportunities to flow into your life. Chapter 19. Putting Positive Things Around You After you've cleared the clutter, it's time to beautify your space with positive and inspiring things that spark joy and uplift your spirit. Surround yourself with products that speak to your soul, make you feel good, and remind you of your value and potential. These could be inspirational quotes, photos of loved ones, plants, or anything that brings you comfort and happiness. Think about colors, textures, and scents that make you feel relaxed and at peace. If a soft throw blanket or a scented candle brings you joy, make room for it in your space. Remember, you're creating a haven for your mind, body, and soul. A place where you can truly connect with the universe and open yourself to receiving. Consider the art, music, and books you choose as well. They should inspire and uplift you, make you think, or simply bring you joy. Whatever you choose, make certain it aligns with the positive energy you're trying to attract. It's also essential to maintain this positivity. Regularly declutter, tidy up, and refresh your space. This continual care is a physical representation of your commitment to receiving and your respect for the universe's gifts. In essence, your surroundings should be a reflection of the joy, peace, and positivity you wish to invite into your life. By placing positive things around you, you're creating a physical manifestation of your internal state, a powerful tool in the art of receiving. So, fill your area with love, joy, and happiness, and watch the universe respond in kind. Chapter 20. Seeking Assistance and Direction In your journey towards mastering the art of receiving, don't hesitate to seek guidance and direction from others. It's not a sign of weakness, but a mark of wisdom. Understand that you're not alone in this journey, and you don't have to navigate it single-handedly. You're a part of a universe that's willing to assist you if you're open to receiving its wisdom. Seeking assistance could mean turning to a mentor or a coach, someone who's traveled a similar road and can provide valuable insights. It could also mean reaching out to friends or family, people who know you well and can offer perspective. Remember, it's okay to seek help. It's okay to ask for direction. Doing so doesn't diminish your strength, it enhances your capacity to receive and grow. When asking for help, be clear and specific about what you need. Don't be vague. The more precise you are, the better the assistance you'll receive. Be open to the advice and guidance that comes your way, even if it challenges your preconceptions. That's how growth happens. Embrace the power of humility. Humility isn't about bowing down, it's about being open and willing to learn from others. It's about understanding that everyone you meet has something to teach you. And when you adopt this mindset, the universe will respond in kind, providing you with the guidance and assistance you seek. Chapter 21 
reflecting on your progress. As you journey forward, don't forget to pause occasionally to reflect on how far you've come and to appreciate the progress you've made in mastering the art of receiving. This reflection isn't a significant diversion but an essential part of your journey. It's a moment to breathe, reassess, and tune into your inner self. As you embrace this practice, you're not only acknowledging your growth but also reinforcing the lessons you've learned. Looking back at your experiences, you'll notice patterns that have shaped your ability to receive. Maybe you've developed resilience in the face of challenges, or perhaps you've learned to trust in the universe's timing. Each insight is a gem, a proof of your evolving consciousness and prowess in receiving. Yet reflection isn't just about reminiscing. It's about using these insights to fuel your future growth. Notice where you faltered and celebrate where you've soared. This balance creates a holistic view of your progress, allowing you to move forward with empowerment and grace. Chapter 22. Raise a glass to your success. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small, for each one is a proof of your growth in mastering the art of receiving. Your successes aren't random occurrences, they're the result of your effort, openness, and willingness to receive what the universe offers. So raise a glass to your success, toast to your growth, and revel in the joy of your achievements. Don't look at this as arrogance or self-indulgence. It's self-recognition. You're acknowledging your progress, applauding your efforts, and reinforcing the belief in your ability to create and receive what you desire. It's a form of self-love that nourishes your confidence and bolsters your resolve. Make a habit of this celebration. Each time you achieve a goal, no matter how small, take a moment to appreciate your success. Grab yourself a glass of the beverage of your choice, hoist it high, and toast to your continued success. This isn't just about celebrating the end result, it's about honoring the journey you've taken to get there. Chapter 23. Expressing Appreciation Through Generosity While toasting to your own successes feeds your confidence, showing gratitude by being generous to others can magnify your capacity for receiving. Generosity isn't just about giving money or material goods, it's about sharing your time, your wisdom, and your heart with others. It's about cultivating an attitude of abundance, knowing there's enough to go around. Generosity, essentially, is a form of appreciation. You're showing your gratitude for the abundance in your life by sharing it with others. You're acknowledging the interconnectedness of life and the role others have played in your success. You're also opening up the channels for more to flow into your life. It's easy to be generous when you're feeling successful and abundant. But what about when times are tough? That's when your generosity really shines. It's a declaration to the universe that you trust in its abundance, that you believe more good is on its way. So start today. Share a compliment with a stranger. Offer your time to a friend in need. Donate to a cause close to your heart. The form your generosity takes isn't as important as the spirit in which you offer it. It's an act of faith, an affirmation of abundance, and a powerful tool in the art of receiving. Don't hold back out of fear or scarcity. Give freely and watch as the universe responds in kind. Remember what you appreciate, appreciate. So, appreciate generously and prepare to receive abundantly. Chapter 24 Continuing Your Journey to Receiving as you keep progressing in your journey to receiving, you'll start to truly embrace its essence. Enhancing your receptivity might present some challenges, but remember, you're capable of maneuvering through them. Let's focus on cultivating a mindset that receives with grace and gratitude. Progressing in receiving. Starting on your journey to mastering the art of receiving, you'll discover it's a path paved with rich learning experiences and personal growth. As you progress, you'll become more adept and comfortable in receiving. You'll start to notice how the universe responds to your openness, providing more opportunities for you to receive. It's not merely about receiving physical possessions, but also love, joy, and peace. You'll develop a deep sense of gratitude, 
which further amplifies your ability to receive. It's a continuous journey of growth, humility, and joy. So, keep moving forward, stay open, and cherish each moment of receiving. Remember, the universe is always ready to give you, just need to be ready to receive. Embracing receiving's essence. You're on a transformative journey, and it's time to truly embrace the essence of receiving, delving deeper into its intricacies and unearthing its profound impact on your life. Grasping this concept isn't just about accepting gifts or compliments. It's about opening your heart and mind to the universe's bounty, truly feeling gratitude for what you already have, and inviting more abundance into your life. It's about shedding old beliefs that limit your ability to receive and replacing them with empowering, abundant thoughts. So take a deep breath and let go of any resistance. Embrace the art of receiving wholeheartedly, enhancing your receptivity. Taking the next step in your journey, it's important to enhance your receptivity, opening yourself up to the countless opportunities and abundant blessings that the universe is enthusiastic to offer. Cultivate a mindset of acceptance rather than resistance. Let go of preconceived assumptions and strict expectations. They will only limit your ability to accept. Instead, be curious and receptive, allowing the universe to surprise you. Remember, it's not about demanding, it's about inviting. Make space in your life for new experiences and blessings. Practice mindfulness and gratitude daily to increase your receptivity. You're a magnet, attracting what you focus on. So focus on the positive, the abundant, the beautiful. The universe is generous, and you're worthy of its gifts, navigating receiving challenges. As you continue your journey towards receiving, it's crucial to understand that you may encounter challenges, but remember, these are simply opportunities for growth and increased receptivity. Don't be disheartened when things don't go as planned, as the universe works in mysterious ways. You're not failing, but rather learning. Each challenge is a stepping stone, leading you closer to your desired reality. Embrace these tests with open arms, knowing that they're shaping your capacity to receive. Stay grounded, patient, and maintain your faith in the process. It's natural to feel overwhelmed, but don't let it sway your determination. Remember, it's not about forcing the universe, it's about aligning with it. Cultivating receiving mindset. Having navigated the challenges with grace and resilience, let's now embrace the art of cultivating a mindset that's open to receiving. Start by acknowledging your worth, you're deserving of all you desire. Don't limit yourself with self-doubt or fear. Instead, cultivate a positive mindset, believe in your ability to receive, and let the universe do the rest. Your receiving mindset isn't only about accepting material goods. It's also about embracing love, support, opportunities, and lessons. Cherish all forms of abundance that life offers. Practice gratitude consistently. It keeps you grounded and enhances your ability to receive. In the end, the world is your oyster when you master the art of receiving. It's not just about getting what you want, but about embracing gratitude, overcoming hurdles, and celebrating victories. This journey is ongoing. It's about progress, not perfection. So keep your heart open, your mind ready, and give as much as you receive. Remember, the universe is generous to those who are generous in spirit. It's time to receive your abundance. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.